Today's nomination witness the largest turnout of candidates as the National People's Party MPP present candidates from the 14 wards who arrived at the Independent Electoral Commission Bureau in the company of their loyal supporters. The 14 aspirant candidate contesting in the upcoming local government election under the MPP ticket face IEC officials to present their nomination documents. Some of the documents submitted, such as the citizenship certificate, voter's card, asset declaration, income tax clearance, campaign code of conduct, as well as an amount of $1,250, party symbol and color, alongside other important documents. After the submission of their document, a receipt of confirmation was given to them by the IEC Regional Commissioner Lamin Cham. Through your nomination documents, so far, everything that is required for you is presented. Okay. However, your supporting documents, that is, people who supported your candidature, will be scrutinized, will take in for verification. Okay. Once that is completed, we will call you to come and get your acceptance letter. I also like to advise that, you know, when going about your campaign, you do it within the confines of the law. You sign a document called the Campaign Code of Ethics, which violation of any one of them could lead to the cancellation of your candidature. So we advise that you and your supporters go about your campaign without violating those regulations. All 14 candidates spoke to the media after their nomination expressing confidence in winning while highlighting priorities when voted into office. So I decided to come and contest for my award because of the suffering they are going through, especially lack of electricity, good roads, health care. So I decided to come back and, and serve my people for them to know exactly what is their potential, why they are paying their tax, the purpose of uh, paying the tax and why the tax is not returning back to them. Contesting this uh, for the women's empowerment and the youth, so to give them what they need, that's why I'm contesting. Well, we need um, peace and unity. Okay. When you bring peace and unity so that you can have what we need to uh, go forward. Okay. Yeah. Clean machine and garden and roads. Yes, electricity. Because my world, uh, some of the village are not have electricity. See, Tori, that this last five years, there was nothing done at the at the world. So I decided that with my people, they said I have I, I got the experience. I should come back. Some of the candidates, such as Aboka Danjo of Sarangai Ward and Ejati Jallo of Basa Ward, respectively, said their focus will be on climate change and women empowerment as well as encourage women to venture into politics and take leadership role. Make sure to support women in my world, either in, you are in my party or not in my party, but I promise to stand for all ladies in my world. So venturing into climate change you know, mitigation, so I think uh, my people, we, we are going to restore some of our forests back and even the natural reserve or the natural resources. There are a lot of uh, communities, they are not with uh, million machines. First priority will be on that. My second priority will be on, uh, because water also is a problem in these communities. So I will stand by that to help the people of Diabo Ward okay. the, on their constraints like water and a uh, lot of infrastructure like schools and uh, ga women gardens. Security drama of Mr. Ward and Tamba County of Damfakunda Ward and other aspirants said changing the lives and livelihood of their people through development project will be their driving forces in fulfilling the needs of their electorates. By engaging all stakeholders, including women and youth, to work hand in hand, work first to rid our community of tribalism, that's my number one target. Um, also, to contribute in rural development in the way of um, providing uh, running water for the whole community. I will, I will support them, especially women, because we all know the Fakunda world is the vegetable production areas, especially women and the youth. That is my priority. Area of agriculture, area of agriculture, because we are farmers, so at times we lack fertilizers and seeds. So these are our main problem. And again. A lot of our women are there, they don't have vegetable gardens. But I start some of my development, but still they are not completed. But uh, that's why I want to elect so that if I come back, I can complete my, uh, my, my project. So that I would like to bring a develop, a development like um, gardens, boreholes, roads and milling machines. Yes.
All the candidates were advised to engage their supporters to abide by the IEC Code of Conduct to answer peaceful messages as shared during the campaign period. Officials said any candidate who violated the election ethics could face the cancellation of their candidature. Say the camera. Reporting for Jatas News from Basse Upper River Region.